Hi everyone and welcome back to yet another segment of the Catalogant Museum demo series. In this section, we'll be covering several workflow and collaboration features included in the museum plan. This tutorial will help you tackle the challenges of managing team responsibilities, getting data in and out of your system, and maintaining structured and efficient processes at your institution. Let's jump right in and discuss folders, tags, reports, imports and exports, and multi-user collaboration. Dan, take it away. Well, thanks very much, Sasha. So to begin with here, I'm going to navigate over to my main menu, select it, and here you can see below all entries, all the folders I've created. Now, folders are the primary level of organization of your collections in Catalog. And you can see some of the folders I've created here are based on the type of item that's in them, and some are based on projects that I've got ongoing. So folders are also the primary level of publishing to the internet in Catalog. And you can see some of the folders that have a little globe symbol in them. Those are folders that I'm currently publishing to the internet. This folder here, to be cataloged, has got a little lock symbol in it. That's a folder that's private to me. It's my own working folder. It only appears in my list of folders. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. First, I have to give it a name. Now, in this case, we're considering a new exhibition for ceramics. So I'm just going to call this ceramics exhibition for now. Once we've decided the, final, the formal name of the exhibition, I can go ahead and change that. And I can give it a description here. Later on, I'm going to want to publish this folder to the internet, and the description I give it will also be published to the internet. Here I can show or hide some of the things on that leaderboard, the little blue box that shows in the corner. In this case, I don't want the value to show on my leaderboard. I can make the folder public or private, but this is going to be a working folder for my team, so I'm going to keep this a public folder. So I'll go ahead and create it. Now I've created my folder, it's time to put something in it. I'm going to go back to my main menu here, to my All Entries. Now one of the items we're considering for this exhibition is this small OYA here. So I've selected the record, now I'm going to come up here, click my Edit Pencil, and you notice up here in the upper right hand corner I've got access to my folder icon. I select that, I can see my list of folders, and I can go ahead and add it to my Ceramics Exhibition folder. And you see here I can add it to as many other folders as I want to. An item can live in as many folders as you, as you need it to. So I'm going to select OK there and I'm going to save my record. Now let's go back, take a quick look here at my list of folders, I can select my ceramics exhibition, and there it is. So now let's talk a little bit about tags. Now to access your tags, scroll down to your profiles from the main menu and select the tags icon. Now tags to me, I think of them as post-it notes on the outside of your entries here, and you can see I use them for quick tasks. Some of the ones I've created that I use all the time, needs additional photos, for instance, needs dimensions. I can select one of these and see, for instance, these are the items that I have that need photos. Next time I have my photo booth set up, I can quickly go through and mark off some of these and remove their tags. Let's go ahead and create a new tag. I can do that by clicking this Create New Tag button. I'm going to give this one a name. This one for things that need provenance research. I could give it a description there as well. I can come back and do that later. I'm going to click Create. Now I've got this on my list here. It's available for me to use. I'm actually going to go back, back to that ceramics exhibition folder. And I want to make sure that I understand the full history of ownership of this plot. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Up here again next to my folders, I can add it to the tag. I'm going to select Needs Provenance Research. And now I've got that item tagged as well. So now let's talk about some of the ways you could share information and catalog it. So to do that, I'm going to navigate back to my main menu and over to my artwork folder. I'm going to come over here to my actions menu, these three dots here, and I'm going to select print pages. Now pages is a great way to create a nice report that's a quick and easy way to share information with the public that's requested something or with a colleague someplace else. Defaults to showing the primary photo and some of the basic information about the item, but if you select all, all the information that's in use anywhere, either with a particular item or within the folder, is available for you to select from. And you just choose the items you want to include on the report, select them, and they're available there. Now this is ready for me to print as a PDF and email it off, and within a few minutes, the person's got the information that they've been looking for. Also available from this Actions menu are some quick reports. We call them one-click reports. So for instance, I can one-click, generate a condition report for all items in this particular folder. Again, from the Actions menu, you can access our Import and Export functions. Selecting Import, you can get a link to our user guide, which will walk you through the steps of using an Excel or a CSV file to 
to quickly and easily begin to create new records and catalog it. The export function here will allow you to export any or all of your data at any point in time. We're firm believers that everything you put in catalog it is yours. You should never have any impediment to getting out any or all of your data. Now let's go back here to the main menu. There's one other thing I want to point out to here, and that's your collaborators in catalog it. So I'm going to scroll down to settings and select collaborators. And here you can see all the other people that have access to your collections. You can see some of them I've, in my collections here have owner access, some have read write, read only. All of us can be working in the collections at the same time, whether we're upstairs in the gallery, down in the collections, outside in the storage, or across town, or around the world. As long as you have access to the internet, you have access to your catalog of collections. Today we've gone through some simple and intuitive features that will encourage efficiency and organization in many respects of collections management at your institution. From multi-user collaboration, to imports and exports, to report functions, and so on. Join us next time to learn all about web publishing. In the meantime, visit our support site for product support or browse our general site for product information.